I just turned on the sprinkler, so that means one thing, it's time to get the, the yard ready to mow. And we're gonna do that with the Mamotion Luba 2. Now this is the first second generation robot I've tried out, so I'm really excited to see what this is capable of doing. I'd say my lawn is pretty advanced, so we're gonna see how well this does with the different curves that I have around the yard, as well as being able to transition from um, different areas. The great thing about this, there's no perimeter wire. This is all um, GPS based, so it will be able to move around your yard and go to different sections. And then this is able to go up a 38 degree slope. It can be set up in 18 minutes, which is great because we have a storm coming in. Um, here we have zero corner, so missed with the dual guarantee position. So it's able to go all the way around the corner and then 66% efficiency, then the second best. Then here we have app control. We can now control it with Google Assistant or Amazon Assistant. And here we have multi-zone and no-go zones. Here we have bionic visual obstacle avoidance. We have auto recharge and anti-theft. Now there are actually like eight different models you can get of the Momotion Luba 2. Um, this is the 3000H. The different models are depending on how big of a yard you have. So you can get up to 5,000, which is an acre and a quarter, or you can go here, this is the 3000, I think it's like a quarter of an acre. So here we have instructions, antennas, replacement blades, and so on. So I'm gonna get this set up and we'll get it mapped out. And here is everything you get in the box now. I don't know if I recorded that, but the Luba 2 is certainly a beast. And then here we have the charging dock that it will dock onto. Okay, let's start by where we're going to put the Luba 2. So I'm gonna put the charging station right here. All right, I think that works. Next, we're going to add the module on the top. This is what's gonna help it see where it is going and navigate. I just need to make those two connections and screw it back on. Now we're going to install the bumper. And so if it bumps into things, it will tell the robot to go another way. So here we need to pinch in and then push it in so it snaps into place. Then we need to insert a security key on the back. Now we're going to set up the GNSS antenna and get it powered. Then we're going to attach the bottom and now we can stake this into the ground. And that is what this is right here. And typically you wanna keep this away from the house. Plug it in. All right, so it looks like I can actually put the antenna right in here. There's a nice little place for it. And then here on the bottom, we have two different connectors. You have a two pin and a three pin. The antenna is the two pin and then the power cable is the three pin. And these are pretty long cables, so you shouldn't have any problem getting it to where you need to go. And then there are stakes where you can stake it into the ground. Now, if for whatever reason you're not having great connection, you can use the antenna somewhere else. Here you have another power cable for that. Now, if you do need to put the RTK somewhere else other than with the base station, you can pick up this RTK wall mount. So this allows you to mount it right to your house and so that it can have a good signal. And that's where you would use that second power cable, plugging that in, and then the other power cable will power the Luba 2. Now let's take a look at what's under the Luba 2. Luba Rover. So here we have 15.7 inch of mowing width or 400 millimeters. And here you can see each rotor has four different blades. So this is going to be able to cut through grass in no time. And up here on the top, we have a rain sensor there. Here you have some buttons to get it started in case you have to do an emergency stop. And then we have the emergency stop button right there. And to get it started again, I can just push and hold the home and start and that's going to take it back to its base. And then on the back here, you also have an option to insert a SIM card. So that's pretty cool and then a security key. Now, even though the Luba 2 is IPX6 water resistant, it's still a great idea to keep it covered so that it's going to protect the finish of the Luba 2. So here we have the Luba Garage, which is going to go over this. This is compatible with the Luba 1 or the Luba 2, so that it just keeps this kind of out of water as well as keep the finish nice and protected from the sun. Oh. All right, now let's go ahead and add a device. Here we have the Luba 2. Here it's gonna to talk to us about guidelines and we're going to install the charging station. Please place the charging station on a flat and open sky ground. All right, now we're gonna connect over Bluetooth. Well, hopefully this charging station will work. I don't really wanna put it on the grass. I wanna off, so we'll see if this is an okay location. Now we're going to connect it to Wi-Fi, and here is our robot. Let's go ahead and enter the map. So after about 30 minutes to get it set up and then another 30 minutes of updates, we are now finally ready 
to map our yard. So here in the app, I'm just going to tap add and tap areas. So now we're going to start with the calibration. So here we're going to control it forward. And then we can turn. Now that we've removed it from the dock, we are going to create an area. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are at the perimeter. We're going to tap plus. Here we go. And now using the phone, just like a Super Nintendo controller, we're going to go forward and left or right to navigate around the border of the yard. And this actually makes it very easy to navigate around the curves. Now, if you do mess up at any point, there is a way to modify this later to fix any part where you go away from the border. And it is doing really great. And if I want to speed it up, I can do that as well. The hardest part is around the corner. So, you know, if you have nice smooth corners, that makes it easy, but I didn't do that. It was super quick. And uh, that was a yeah, solid run to get that. So here we can see the map and we're going to save that area. All right, now we're going to continue mapping. We're going to add a new area. So here we're just going to drive the Luba 2 to the front yard to map the next area. Now, depending on which Luba 2 model you get, you could have 10 to 60 different areas. Now, when mapping, I only had one issue, and that's you can't have an area too small. Here in the front yard, we have this tiny little path, and I wasn't able to do that, but I just made a bigger area, including the other side, and so that's going to be my front area, and that worked pretty smooth. All right, next we are going to create a channel so that it can drive from one area to the other. So let's go ahead and create a channel here. When it enters another area, we can then save that channel. So now it will be able to go from one area to the next. Now we need to make a channel from here around the gate. Maybe one day I'll have a little doggy door that it can go through. And now we have successfully completed the mapping of the yard. That actually went incredibly smooth compared to some others I've tried. I love that I can go forward as well as turn right or left. That makes it really convenient. And then mapping everything worked great. And I also had the option to create no-go zones. So if there was a area I didn't want it to go to, I have that option as well. So then we have mow, and now we can do tasks or just manual mow. So that's nice that I can just hit manual and drive it where I want, but let's do a task. And let's try area one. And here we have options. You can set how frequent you want this. You could have it repeat every day. We can set when it's going to mow. I'm gonna choose right now. We have the area. And then here we can do a customized path. We have all kinds of things. We have pacing, we have tracks, task speed. We have high grass, efficient cutting, um, obstacles, cutting path mode, perimeter mow laps. So after it's done, you can have it go up to four laps. Around the outside, we can do the perimeter first. Um, we can do zigzag first. We can do the cutting path angle. <laughs> Tons of features, pretty awesome. So here we have high grass, efficient cutting, and fine cutting. Let's go ahead and just do customize and confirm. And here it's showing us the cutting height. So we can actually go to four inches all the way down to 2.2 and here, it says how long that's going to take. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a nice cut all the way to 2.2 inches. And here it has, it's gonna take about an hour. And here you can see in the app, it already has shown the path it's going to take to get this done. And starting off here in the corner, it bumped into the fence. When it does that, the bumper bar kind of backs it up. It beeps a little bit and then it navigates around whatever it was bumping into and continues on. Now, my last lawnmower did drive over here and drive down the stairs. We'll see how well this is doing. So it looks like we're doing pretty good so far. Now this is following pretty much exactly what I drove. There are two different turnaround modes. Here we have multi-point turn or you have zero turn where it's going to use all of its wheels to have the smallest turn to continue on the path. This is a pretty slanted area. Let's see how it does. Oh, ooh, recovery. Now this is another area where the all wheel drive is going to be great. If it does happen to go over the edge here, it will be able to reverse back. Even if it only has three points on the ground or even two wheels, it will get back and not get stuck and continue mowing. I love how close it can follow this edge over here.
So far, I'm very impressed with the Luba 2, but we really need some grass to grow to be able to test it fully, so let's make that happen. Now it's time to put this to the test, having it mow the entire lawn. Now I've been waiting for my lawn to grow, but it's not quite getting there. So we're going to mow it, see if it can do a pattern, and then I'm going to lower it all the way down so we can see how low it's able to mow to hopefully get the grass to kind of start growing. Here we're going to tap new task. We're going to do all areas of the home here. Confirm, and then here it gives us the option to adjust if we want to have this do a frequency. So how often is it going to run? Or we're just going to say we're going to do this now. And then we have the option to choose the areas and we can do path configuration. So you can come in here and really customize what's going to happen during the run. You can adjust the path spacing. You can adjust the speed. So if I want to have it go a little bit slower, more accurate there. So here we're just going to keep it at one. Here we have obstacle detection mode. So we're just gonna keep it at a level one right now. Here you can choose cutting path. So we can do perimeter laps only. We can do zigzag path, chessboard path, or adaptive zigzag. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the chessboard. Here you can do how many times it's going to go around the perimeter. Let's go ahead and do two. And then we have the perimeter first option. So we have perimeter first or zigzag. We'll keep it at perimeter. And then here you can change the cutting path angle and the start progress. So that looks great. We're going to select done there. So there it's saying it's gonna take about two hours and nine minutes here. So let's start this. So here, biggest thing, let's see if it can get out of the base. Start working. And here as it's going around the perimeter, it's being pretty cautious, but I love how it is able to stay right up close to that edge. And that just looks so nice. It's gonna have the best edging I think I've seen on any robot lawnmower. So I might have to come back with my weed eater and get the very edge there, but this is doing excellent. Now here it's doing a multi-point turn to get around the corner there. That worked very well. And here, let's listen to how quiet it is. So my grass hasn't grown quite enough for it to really do anything. So let's go ahead and adjust the height. We're going to do the 2.2 inches there. Tap confirm. There it's lowering the cutting height. There you go. We can already hear it starting to cut more. And there as it bumps into the fence, it beeps and does a multi-point turn to keep going. And now this was the main part I had difficulty when mapping out. Uh, there was a spot where I had it go way too far. Yeah, right there. It was hard to do this. We'll see if we can adjust that in the app. And while it is mowing, this is the perfect time for me to get caught up on the yard. So I can go out, pull the weeds. I can start the weed eater and get the edge of the lawn and clean up anything else the kids have messed up. But I can be so productive while it is mowing the lawn. Now other robot mowers I've tried, they come to this edge, drive over and get stuck and they are not able to pull themselves back. But I can see with the all wheel drive of the Luba 2, it didn't have any issue coming back over if it went too far. So it's gone around the perimeter one time. Now it's going to go a little further in and go around a second time. And here, because we did change the height, you can see the difference between the three inches and down to 2.2. I'd say the 2.2 is enough. Um, if you do like a shorter lawn, I would definitely not go with the higher model. Um, but the four inch if is gonna be great for the summer when I want the lawn to be a bit longer so that my grass isn't dying so fast. And here it is finishing the second perimeter. Let's check and see where it's going to start the chest pattern. So it looks like it's gonna start right here, going this direction and then it will change the opposite direction once it is finished. So the chest pattern is not going to work too much here on this smaller path, but it's going back and forth, making multi-point turns around to go up and down this hill, which is working really well. Now, unlike your mower with a bag, this is just mulching all the lawn. So here you can see all the clippings from when it came over here and cut this long area, but this is probably the longest I will ever see clippings. I typically never see clippings. They more look like this, which are very small. I don't know if you can see that with the sun here, but I'm gonna use this to mow probably two to three times a week and have it go out and mow. And then it's just going to be cutting a tiny bit 
every single day so the, all, the lawn is always looking nice and fresh and then here you can see that it wasn't able to get probably about five or six inches there that i'll need to go through and use a weed eater to trim around the border so it's hard to get really closer than that but i think it's doing a great job with what it can do you know if i had it dry further up onto this it's not going to be able to cut as low but maybe it would cut it so something i might have to try out as um, i'm using this throughout the summer but you're not going to really see these you're not going to have to worry about cleanup you may just need to dethatch every year just to make sure that your lawn is staying nice and fresh and breathing so that it can grow as good as it should and so here is the current progress now as it's mowing it's removing lines so all the black lines are where it's going to go and then once it goes over it you'll see it removes those lines and then so it's almost halfway done with this first pass and then it will need to go back for the second pass to complete the chest pattern now over here on the side i do have a few options so i can locate where the robot is push that and it will take me to there on the map next i have the option to adjust the current mowing options so i can change the height the speed obstacle detection and so on and here i have this last option which is a camera what i didn't know that there you go now you can see what it is doing and where it's at okay that's amazing but I am outside, I don't know if I could be far away. Maybe if I had the SIM card in it, I would be able to see this from afar, but I'm at home close to the robot. And then down here you can see the percent mode as well as the remaining time and pause it if I need to. The first time I mowed, it didn't have the charging base, but I think now it knows where that is. So it will be able to dock there when it is complete. I've adjusted the speed to 1.3 speed. So it's definitely a little bit faster. I think this is going to work well just because it doesn't need to get too much grass. Um, so it's nice that you do have the option to increase it a little bit. I could almost go a little bit faster when I don't need to have a nice thick lawn cut. And here it is almost done with the backyard. It looks like there's one more spot it's going to go to in the back. So we're gonna follow it till it heads to the front. it made the transition to the next area and it's gonna keep mowing. Now, while I don't have much grass to mow, you can tell it has done a great job getting all the different parts of the lawn. I think it's so great. It was able to do that pattern and mow the lawn two times. So it was able to get every part of this. Now, I only have a little bit of weed whacking to do around the border, but this is the least I've ever had to do. And this is gonna look excellent once my lawn looks like this all around so overall very impressed with how accurate this was able to be now my favorite part about all of this is it was able to complete mowing the backyard without any issues it never got stuck once beyond the border here and so i don't have to worry about coming out here and fixing that every time it does bump into something it will just beep but it's able to reposition and use the all-wheel drive to get out of where it is so that is very impressive i might want to have the lower option. Now this looks really nice. This is the lowest that it would go. So when it's nice and thick, it will be great. But if you do like your grass very low, you may want to go with the regular um, height instead of the high option. Got a little stuck there, but I love how close that is staying to the edge all right so it did just run out of battery it didn't quite finish this front area and that of course is with the chessboard pattern so for a normal typical mow it would have no problem if you do have a bigger yard you of course can get the ones that are able to go to more acreage so let's let it charge and then it will finish up and then in the settings i told it to follow the perimeter when it goes so there's no tracks through the middle of the yard. So that's what it's doing right now as it goes back to the charging station. It is going to follow the perimeter versus just driving through the middle of the yard.
Start charging. And there it docked and started charging without issue. It's four o'clock. Let's see how long it takes to charge up. After two hours, it went from 15% to 78%. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the task so that we can finish this video. So here it just bumped in the mailbox. It beeps a few times, then it keeps going, but it was able to get very close next to the mailbox. So the obstacle avoidance is actually really great. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I step in front of the Luba 2 in its path. All right, now we're gonna try obstacle detection mode zero. So it's not going to try and avoid any obstacles. So here it just bumped into me and then it found its way around me, understanding that there is an object in the way. And here with level one, as soon as it detects an obstacle, it slows down. You can see the Luba 2 did that and then it will navigate to avoid the obstacle. Let's try level two. The robot will slow down and bypass the obstacle after detecting obstacle by sensors. So level two worked great. It stopped before it bumped into me, but it didn't get as close. So I like the option one where it will bump into you and then avoid the obstacle versus just using its sight. But it's nice there's a few options there. And here is the finished front yard. It did really great. Just right up here on the front steps, it did have the problem where it kept bumping into it, but it was able to move and go around without any issues, falling off the steps or anything like that. And I will still need to do some weed eating around the edge, but overall it did an excellent job cutting the grass. Here in the app, we have all kinds of features. So we're just going to the enter map and down here at the bottom you can add more areas so areas no go zones you can add a channel where it goes from one area to the other here we can mow we can create a new task or we can do the manual mode so with this it pulls up a controller where then as i drive the luba 2 and it can go pretty quick um, while you're just driving it but then i have the option to turn on mowing so i can manually mow so let's say i want to change the mode here so you can go to control where you're just going to be driving it maybe there's an area that it's not getting the best you can hit mow so now it's going to start mowing so now it's giving me an option down here to agree to use now you need to be connected with bluetooth and then you can adjust the upper limit for speed and the cutting length right there and then i hit start turn it on and now i am ready to mow so here you can here the blades turn on and there's a cool animation here. That the blades are turning on and then I can manually mow it to get the area that it may have missed. Then if I wanna just stop, I can do that. And then again, we can change the mode and if I want to go to video, I can drive around with the video here. So here you can see what height the blades are at and then I can move around while I am looking at the video. So this is great because I can then find where it is or navigate it back to the base station very easily. Then over here on the side, I have the options to return to the charger or I can locate it on the map. And then lastly, we have the option to edit. So we can delete different areas or I can modify certain areas. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can modify one of the edges over here. It's a really big remote control car. This is really fun. All right, so you can, let's see, right here is where it kind of goes away from the line. So let me just turn this around. And it says go to the edge of the boundary. So we're gonna hit start right here. I'm gonna go forward, doing my best to stay along the border here. And then I can select done and now we click save. So now it should follow that line much better. I kind of scraped the side, which you have to do sometimes if you have concrete barriers like that or, con or a foundation wall. But now um, I think it's going to do much better. And now we're just going to push the recharge button. So that's awesome that you are able to adjust the perimeter instead of redoing the whole mapping on an area. Now, most of the time I'm having it mow at night. And this is great because it doesn't bother anybody. It's very quiet and then people aren't seeing it during the day and might steal it or something like that. But here at night, it does disable 3D vision when using it at night. That just means it won't be able to avoid obstacles that come in its path. Here it had no problem completing a mow in the evening when it was 
pitch black out here, it still has its positioning system and everything in place so it won't go off path. I finally have some grass growing, so let's do one more mow here. So I'm gonna do the lowest height, but I'm gonna change the path configuration, and I'm gonna change the cutting path angle. So right now, it's kind of just doing a perfectly lined up angle, but we're gonna do this at a diagonal at a 45 degree angle, and so it'll have a different pattern on the lawn. So it's really great. You can customize that. So here we're gonna choose 45 degrees. We're going to confirm and we're going to hit start. Let's hit next, and there it goes. And here we can see on the map how it is going to do that angled direction. So you can preview it before you start it to make sure it's doing what you want, but this is going to work great. And here after another mow, you can see that it got right up to the edge here. This part is where we need to weed eat. And then over here, same thing. It just can't get that very edge. Let's look at some other spots. Now I can't quite see that diagonal pattern just because there wasn't much grass. And this is probably the best spot there. You can see very nice right here. And then right there is where we will need to cut it down a little bit. But this is by far the best I've seen on any robotic lawnmower. That's the least amount I will have to trim. Here you can see around the mailbox, there's just a little bit to do. And the Luba 2 stayed right against the edge, just leaving a little bit here right next to the concrete. So I can definitely recommend the Luba 2. It's going to be the perfect device to go out and cut the grass in the yard. Now I said I have a bit more complicated yard and it was able to have no problem going around. Even if it went over the edge here, it didn't have any problem getting back with that all wheel drive. That is really nice. Um, other lawnmowers kept getting stuck and so this one has been amazing. Now I think it would have been nice if I could have made the grass cut a little bit lower. I ended up choosing the higher model, but it would be nice if there was something that was just in between the two models that are available. Um, I like it to be a little bit shorter, um, but it will be nice to have the longer option as well. So you kind of just got to know what you want. Um, and then as for the distance, this one wasn't able to quite finish my full yard on the chest pattern, just barely came a little too short. If I would have maybe just done one perimeter or no perimeter, I could um, have it probably finish without any issue and then do the perimeter later on its own. So there's a few options there and the app is actually very user friendly, very simple to use and tons of different options. So if you have any further questions about the Mamotion Luba 2, please let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like to pick one up, I'll leave a link down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.